This is KARK for today. Continue to wait on results from some key states in the race to the White House, but overnight, Joe Biden takes the lead in Georgia. Good Friday morning. Glad you can join us on KARK for today. I'm Suzanne Bruner. With votes still being counted in Alaska, Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, even Pennsylvania, at this point, it's anyone's game. As we continue to wait for the latest results from the polls, our Washington correspondent, Basil John, joins us live from our D.C. Bureau with more on how both campaigns are doing. Yes, good morning. As you said, the latest from the polls show former Vice President Joe Biden is now in the lead in Georgia, a state that has been red since 1992. But the way the president and the former vice president are handling these swings at the polls is very different. But there's been a lot of shenanigans and we can't uh, stand for that in our country. President Donald Trump put the election process in question, claiming Democrats stole votes. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. This accusation comes after the country saw major shifts in votes in some battleground states, such as Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Nevada. Former Vice President Joe Biden says the voting process should be respected. It is the will of the voters. No one, not anything else, that chooses the president of the United States of America. Biden did not try to claim victory, but asks his supporters to be patient. We have no doubt that when the count is finished, Senator Harris and I will be declared the winners. So I ask everyone to stay calm, all the people to stay calm. The Trump campaign challenged the election process in states like Georgia and Michigan, but judges have already dismissed them. Now, former Vice President Joe Biden is currently in the leading Georgia by 1,096 votes. Uh, we're expecting to hear more results today, and we could see a final vote count come out of either Georgia or Pennsylvania by earliest later this morning. But for right now, I'm Basil John reporting live from Washington. All right, Basil, thanks so much.